Okay, next question. Do cleanses help? Oh boy. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a really tough question to answer. And I'll say that because they are not very well researched. Because if you look out on the internet, just do a quick Google search of uh, health cleanse or you know some type of cleanse. And you will, number one, you'll get such a wide variety of results from juice cleanses to water only cleanses to, you know, where you just take a, you drink water and you only take a multivitamin or a bone broth cleanse or a insert thing cleanse that you can do. And they are not well researched. So because there's just too many cleanses out there to do a for real research study on all of them to determine efficacy and all that. Additionally, most Americans, we already are kind of starting in a deficit of gut health because of all the things that I've mentioned, of, you know, the standard American diets, ironically, the acronym is the SAD diet because it is, it has most Americans starting from a deficit in terms of our health. So to say if a cleanse does or doesn't work is tough because we're already starting from a deficit. So does it improve a deficit? Well, maybe it's just because it cut out all the other stuff, the other junk that we were eating. Maybe it's not the cleanse itself, like what it's doing. Maybe it's just the elimination of the stuff that sucks. Maybe it is the cleanse itself to be determined. We just don't have enough research for this. And the thing that most people forget about when we're talking about doing cleanses is it's tough to determine once if you, let's say you could just wipe out your, your gut microbiome and start over fresh with a cleanse how do you know, you don't know what you're actually replacing the existing bacteria with. So you don't know if then what type of microbiome you're introducing based on the cleanse. So if you're doing a, a lemon juice cleanse, like this picture here. So let's again, magically say you could wipe out your whole microbiome and start over with this lemon juice cleanse. Well, then what? So you, so you've wiped it out and then what are you putting in its place? If you don't know, or there's no way of telling, or you don't have a specific way of going about it, it's really tough to say if that's beneficial or not, because you could be replacing it with a gut microbiome that's way worse. I don't know. And again, there's just not the research out there to support either doing or not doing. So this is another kind of buyer beware situation that if you find one that does make you feel good, make you feel better and things like that. I'm not here. I'm not going to tell you no. I would consult your physician before doing anything like that. Um, they do have different research studies, you know, about altering. Like, so if you do kind of wipe it out, wipe out your microbiome, like if you have to take a round of antibiotics, there are things that like protocols that you can do to kind of help it bounce back naturally. But it's different than just trying to use a cleanse to start from scratch. So Yes and no. <laughs> I am personally not a fan of cleanses just because they kind of suck. Like you're hungry, whatever. So I, I feel like there are but there are other ways to go about improving your gut health that don't involve all that a cleanse does. So that's my two cents, but consult your doctor, buyer beware, all of those disclaimers apply. <laughs>